Yeah. Pastor Brad Jerkovich, good morning, sir. How are you this morning? Thank you for taking time for us. Can you? Hey, you bet. What can you tell us uh, about the fire this morning? Fill us in. What information do you have? Well, I'm on scene right now. Um, the firefighters of Bossier are doing an incredible job. Treeport's helping now as well. And uh, it's pretty bad. Um, they're doing the best they can to, uh, you know, contain it. Uh, but they're definitely losing a lot of structure on the campus for sure. So um, it's, uh, you know, we just appreciate so many people have already been texting and calling and praying. And that's uh, that's really what, what they could be doing now. But pray for the firefighters as well. So, Pastor, where, yeah. where can you tell us it started? Describe the building that it started in and how many other buildings are now involved. What I can tell right now is it was kind of behind State Chapel and maybe the one of the middle connecting areas at this point. I'm being extremely vague. And I don't know all the details, but it had just spread to the uh, uh, where the uh, the wing, uh, what do I say, that has our kids' academy in it, et cetera. Obviously, you know, no one was there this morning, of course, so no one's hurt. But it's uh, that whole wing there around the Faith Chapel towards the mall, uh, not – Obviously, next to the mall. But anyway, just to, saying on that side of the property. To the main chapel yeah. yet at this point? No, no, no. It's not moved that way either. Um, but they're uh, they're trying to take care. I'm not sure about Big Chapel, though. It doesn't look good for that, which is the older, you know, the original sanctuary. Mm -hmm. So it's... Uh, I'm just not sure about that. Mr. That Brad, really looks, uh, Brad yeah. pardon me, the, the, the closeness, the tightness of the facility there, you got a lot of stuff in a relatively... Uh, considering yeah. all that you have there, it's kind yeah. of a small space for everything. Is is that sort of inhibiting the fire department being able to get back to the source of the fire at all? Can you tell? Well, I don't know if it's that. I mean, they, it, it just, um, I don't know. I don't know how to answer all those questions, to be honest with you. I know that they got here on scene, and it just continued to spread um, and kind of jump from one part to the next. But, yeah, it's close close quarters on some of that so clearly that's an issue um it's just uh this is the older part of the campus you know so maybe it's just a little bit of a challenge on that mm -hmm. i know firefighters and we're, we're talking with uh, pastor brad jerkovich first baptist church Bozier, which yeah. is part of the buildings on fire i know firefighters around the scene often will talk about what may have what may have sparked it are you hearing yeah. any of that chatter at this point not at all i mean again it's kind of in the middle of a corridor area that they're kind of sensing where they, it originated. It's just hard to tell on that right now. So um, obviously these guys are professionals, so they'll, they'll figure that out. But um, anyway, right now they're trying to contain as much as they can, put it out as quickly as they can, and stay as safe as they can. And, and I just want to say very appreciative how, you know, our Bossier Fire Department, police, and then Shreveport helping as a sister city doing an incredible job. But it's challenging, you know. Um, but mm. so many church family praying so many people from the city already praying and, and very, very thankful for that. Any indication of arson? I, I don't know anything okay. right now. So Brad, what what, what can Shreveport Bossier residents do for you guys this morning? Uh, I know prayers, yeah. but yeah. Uh, it's too early to, yeah. to say what you're going to need, huh? Exactly. I mean, I think we'll just have to see what the, what the, how this day, the rest of the day unfolds. But we'll, uh, we're going to get through it. And, and people, like I said, have been so quick to respond. And that's been very, very meaningful to our church family. So. And obviously around the city, so we're grateful. Mr. Brad, yeah. considering the crisis of the situation, I got to tell you, you sound amazingly calm. How are you doing well, that? Man, I tell you, we just know God's in control. Obviously, we're grateful, no loss of life. You know what I'm saying? You're just grateful for those things. Buildings could be rebuilt, um, and uh, our church is resilient. So uh, we're going to press on and, and just grateful for you guys. How, how did you learn about this? Tell me what happened. What was your morning like? Uh, the fire chief, uh, Chief Sagone, uh, called me early, and then one of uh, another captain, uh, Dyson, Chris Dyson, who's my neighbor, they called me early, said, "Hey, we're en route." So, um, you know, pretty early this morning, but uh, they've been on it, and that's just how they roll. They they get things done and take it serious, and and everybody's professional, you know. So I'm grateful for those guys. Brad Jerkovich, pastor at First Baptist Bozier, I can't thank you enough for your time. Our prayers hey, with you and your yeah. congregation. Thank you guys so much. We'll be in touch. You